Welcome to Culture Connect. This evening's guest, Sabina Reckowell, was filmed on location at her studio in Napa, California. So we're gonna take a look at this as a roll-in. Sabina was born in Goslar, Germany and studied industrial design at the Institution Academy of Fine Arts in Kassel, Germany. She switched her focus to textile design and then to textile art. Most recently, she's had an installation at Liquid Agency in San Jose, and her current work is on display as an installation at the SF Arts Commission Gallery across from City Hall. So let's roll this visit with Sabina in her studio. The San Francisco Arts Commission invited me to do a window installation in a very large space. It's uh, 26 feet long, 20 feet wide. It has 10 foot high walls, but it can only be seen through two large windows from the front. And so the challenge was to create something with lines that fills the space and that creates uh, a substantial volume inside this very large space. So my idea was to do something where if you look through one window only, you see one aspect of the piece. And then if you change over to the other window, you see another aspect of the piece. And you can only see the whole piece if you walk very close, if you look exactly through the window, and then you see how both sides are connected. In this piece, for the first time, I created two layers with two different colors, which is new for me and was a real challenge. All the women in my family uh, were really great at sewing and crocheting and knitting and embroidering. And that was uh, sort of something that they did uh, for utilitarian purposes only, but also, as a form of self-expression and um, uh, showing off their skills and um, getting together and, and working together. Uh, on my father's side, he was a, an architect and a builder. And so at a very early age, he showed me how to uh, draw a house, uh, create the illusion of space and um, he was very systematic and very precise in what he did. Then later on, when I went to the Academy of Fine Art, that was sort of based on um, uh, a Bauhaus idea of bringing together architecture, design, painting, um, craft, um, and, and to create sort of a com contemporary environment where all of this can happen at the same time and where all of it has equal value. UC Davis has a wonderful design department and they had uh, also founded a small art, uh, fiber art school. It was called Fiberworks and it was in Berkeley. And um, they were able to get accreditation for a graduate program and so after I finished at UC Davis, I continued at Fiberworks. I think um, at the time there was still really sort of a, um, a barrier between the fine arts, which was still mostly just painting and traditional sculpture. And then on the other hand, all these uh, craftspeople that were looking at their work as art. At the time, some of my, my own favorite artists were or, uh, minimal artists like Solovit, who was working with these uh, really simple geometric systems and making really beautiful wall drawings with just lines of pencil. This is a crochet piece that I did in 1979. It consists of three layers of crocheted wire. If for each layer, I used the same amount of stitches, 
same, same amount of rows. First layer is a very small crochet hook and then a medium crochet hook and a large crochet hook. So each one is uh, gets a little bit wider and more open as I go, went along. And here they're sort of arranged one on top of each other. This is a drawing of another installation that I did this summer at, in San Jose at a company called Liquid Agency. There were also a lot of really bright colors inside this office space, so that sort of inspired me to use a really bright blue as the color for this installation. I've been working mostly with two different ideas. One is to connect corresponding points with straight lines. The other is to create pieces like the one behind me, where uh, lines are um, loose and um, t tension is released gradually over space. And I'm working with gravity. So as soon as the tension of the lines are released, they form curves. When I start with an idea for an installation, I usually start with the space itself. Um, all my work is site-specific. Uh, I take into account what I have to work with in terms of the architecture. So whether it is um, a corner or um, another kind of space that uh, um, is shaped like a box. To me, um, it's important to think of architecture, craft, art, um, as a form of expression that's um, really part of our, our, all of our lives and um, is really interesting to work with.